Yellow just blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make a put it on. She don't like wearing clothes. Just left Concord, no Carolina. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream. She remember you. Ice cube making gym. She ever like the way do. Do sitting with the crew. I done did some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. Yo, what up, y'all? Stay the Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. I watched more footage of the the baby and um Danny Lee brother Brandon Bill situation. So now I'm gonna give my full take on the situation after gathering a little bit more information. All right, so I would show the video, but YouTube is not gonna let me post that. It's a it's a it's 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 a violent video. You feel me? But um. The video that I seen from the from from how the fight first started, how the video starts is uh, it looks to be that um, Brandon Bills, right? The guy apparently maybe walked up to the baby, and was trying to talk to him like as a man, right? But I'm watching the video, right? And the the video footage is, you can see the baby, but you can see the shoulder of Brandon Bills, right? From his uh right side, the back of him on the right side. And then you see the baby. The baby takes that step. Y'all know that step you take when you out to deck somebody? The baby takes that first step, right? Boom. Hits the nigga dumb hard, right? Rocks him. Rocks him. So once he rocks him, he steps back. And it looked like the baby like hit him real hard and like threw off his equilibrium. Because then he stepped into the slippery part, right? And he already lost his balance, but then lost his balance. And he in the slippery part of the bowling, the, the bowling section, right? So, boom, he tries to take his coat off while his equilibrium is lost. You feel me? Right? But the baby already rocked him. You know what I'm saying? Rocked him, then boom. His man rushes him or whatever. And then the baby, initially, he jumps in. He's a part of that. He gets a couple more hits in. Y'all know how it be when you in the hood. And people getting jumped, you know how it be, you know what I mean? But in the midst of it, they slipping and sliding all around and all of that, you know what I mean? So one of them, one of the baby's people, you know what I'm saying? They grab his head and start slamming him by his head and all of that. You feel me? Like um, and and that's how the situation went. You feel me? Um, the baby is real ratchet, <laughs> very ratchet, but then walking past the cameras and going like this while walking away, you know what I'm saying? That's it's reminiscent of watching Tupac either walking out or walking to, I mean, either walking out of or walking to the courthouse, right? And the paparazzi there and all of that. Now, um, my situation is this. The baby did what he was supposed to do. The baby did what he was supposed to do, you feel me? Um, a lot of people on the internet talking about, yo, man. The baby soft, this, that, and the third. No, he not. No, he not. The baby is tough. He been showing people he tough, man. Then he flatlined somebody in a Walmart. People who tried to front on him and rob him in front of his baby and his baby mama. Then he flatlined somebody four or five years ago. Every single time it was a situation, he rose to the occasion. And every single time, people got hurt behind playing with him, right? So if you ask me, Brandon Bills, he got smoked because he failed to study his enemy. He didn't take the situation seriously, you feel me? Because he made that video, right? Dissing the baby when the shit popped off with his um sister. He dissed the baby, making it hot. I can't wait to see you to stand the third. His hometown is LA. So my thing is this, all right? He underestimated his opponent very stupidly if... He noticed that the baby was there first and he walks over there to try to talk to the baby. As if as if something good was about to happen. And he must have thought that way, probably because Danny Lay let him beat it again after that situation when he violated and called the side chick. She must have let him hit it again. She must have let bro hit, you feel me? Like um, but Brandon Bills did not study his opponent. Now, if he was smart, right? And I'm speaking on if the baby was at that place first, right? 
And he noticed the baby was there and then tried to approach the baby. What he should have did, right, if he was smart, is go somewhere secluded area around that place. You know what I'm saying? Go somewhere secluded. Call his people, man. Have his whole hood pull up. That's what he's supposed to do. Have his whole hood pull up, surround them. Or leave if his people can't get in and catch the baby outside and surround them. Surround them and then if you still want to fight, ask for the one on. Then if you still want to fight, ask for the one on. That would have been a smart thing to do. Because then you would have been able to be like, oh word, the baby here. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six of them. I'm getting 20 of my people, right? And then you could have did something, you feel me? Or you could have called less. You could have called less and has, uh, got four, five, six of your own boys in there, right? Paid a couple extra dollars, got them in there. And then, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get into a brawl in a bowling alley. It looks better for you. It looks better for you, man. Other than the way he approached it, man. He approached it like a goofy, man. Like he wasn't prepared for war. <laughs> Does anybody know about Does anybody know about The Prince by Machiavelli? Does anybody know about the 4-day laws of power? I think Machiavelli made The Prince. Niccolo something, that's his name, right? You're supposed to study your enemy. Does anybody know about The Art of War by Sun Tzu, man? You're supposed to study your enemy, man. So now he posting, talking about they jumped me, they jumped me, they jumped me. Yes, he jumped you. And had it been the other way around, right? Had it been the other way around, right? And Brandon Bills ran into the baby and the baby was by himself. He would have did exactly what the baby did to him. He would have popped that bottle on the baby, right? His mans would have rushed him and they all would have jumped him. Facts. 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 All y'all from the hood acting like the baby's soft and y'all don't understand what goes on the hood, in the hood. Y'all know what goes on in the hood, man. It ain't no one on. Who willingly gives one ons to people who they don't respect in the hood? If we ain't from the same building, the same block, and my mother knows your mother, and we kind of family, but we having a disagreement right now, it ain't no one ons. Never been any one ons like that in the hood, man. If I don't respect you and I see you, it's on. Y'all better have more numbers than us. That's how it is. That's how it be, man. That's how Brandon Bills went wrong, you feel me? And like I said in the last video, the person who really loses out is the baby's daughter. The baby's daughter, man. My advice is if 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 y'all sister is getting into it with a dude, right? Mind your business. Mind your business unless he really beating on your sister. And then even there, you got to tread lightly because if she not willing to call police on that man and he beating on her, you getting involved for what reason? You know what I'm saying? She going to be dealing with that trauma. You mess around and kill and kill the person who's doing this harm to your sister. Right. You go to jail. He dies. Right. Or he catches revenge. Right. He kills you. Right. Your sister is still going to love her brother. And get with another dude that's just like him. Or you go to jail, right? Right? She's still going to get with another dude that's just like him. You know what I'm saying? And for all we know, the baby done already pulled up on Danny Lay and and and, and slept with her again just to, just to um poke fun at the baby father. Like I used to do, you know what I'm saying? When I used to get into my baby mother and her brother used to be all in the business and all of that, you know what I'm saying? In my head, I used to be like, I don't even know why you're trying to get involved because tonight I'm going to go ahead and, and put the beef in her mouth, you know what I'm saying? Because you acting up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, she'll never get the opportunity to do that again. She's a dub, you know what I'm saying? But it's as simple as that, you know what I mean? He did not, he failed to study his enemy. He failed the plan, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if somebody hyped him up to go step to the baby. You know what I'm saying? I hope he didn't see the baby first and then step to him solo like that was going to work out. And I hope at least the baby and his team seen him first. Oh, yeah, yo. And anybody trying to act like it's crazy that dudes was swinging, um, swinging Brandon Bills by his hand and all that, notice that they on the slippery ground of the bowling alley if you fighting somebody and you slipping around 
You trying to hold on to them. You grabbing some part of their body. So I'm going to ask you, if you fighting somebody and you grabbing on to their clothes, what's the difference between grabbing on to their head and swinging them around like a rag doll? You feel me? In a certain situation, I do the same thing and so would you. You want to know why? Because this is a fight. This is a fight and I don't respect you. So therefore, I'm violating you. I'm violating you. We jumping you. I might cut your face. I might stab you, right? I might shoot you. I might stomp you out. And actually, when you fighting somebody, unless people take their shirts off, at some point you grabbing their clothes anyway. You still grabbing something on them. You still grabbing something on them, dogs. You know what I mean? And if you want to be technical and you study, you really study how to how to how to beat people in a street fight. We're talking about a street fight. It's not a boxing match, all right? Wherever the head goes, the body goes. Wherever the head goes, the body goes, man. I'm keeping it straight gangster, you know what I'm saying? If I'm fighting somebody and I feel like I'm losing and they got hair, I'm running up to you, I'm grabbing your hair, and I'm swinging you around. If I grab your hair in this one fist, your body is going wherever I swing your, your wherever I swing you around at. So I grab your hair like this, and now I'm snuffing you with this. Ming mong, bing bong, boom, boom, bing, bing, bing. Bing, right? Rock your snot box, right? Knock your teeth out your mouth, right? Who cares? I beat you up. This is street fight. Hold it down. Hold it down. Get it back in blood, you heard? You feel me? This is the streets. I'm grimy like that too. I'm grimy like that too, but this is why I move a certain way. When I'm possibly behind enemy lines, I'm gonna move a certain way, you feel me? It's as simple as that, dog. They not, they not soft, they not soft because of that. And they might have not done it if they wasn't slipping and sliding, but yeah.